Hello and welcome to the Business Importer online demo. Business Importer is the app that is going to help you import your cloud file data or the data from your Excel or CSV files from your PC into Xero, Myobi or Sage companies. In order to get the app, create a free account for testing, please go to b-importer.com and click try it free. You will see the sign up form, fill it out and proceed to the login. I'm going to log in because I already have an account, so I enter my credentials and click login in here. On this page, you can see that uh, I have 14 days left of a free trial, which we provide to every new user. I can import up to 100 rows total, no more than 50 lines per import, uh, in order to test the app, in order to import different objects, different types of data into my accounting company and see how the app works for my personal flow. I will be showing how Business Importer works on the example of the Xero integration. So here you can see that the app is prompting me to connect a company. I click Add Company and connect to Xero. You will need to authorize the app, allow access, and see your Xero company connected on the account page. Now I'm going to show you how to import your online data into your Xero company. Click on Upload File. This is the tab on the left and see the list of all of the available types of transactions and data that you can import into Xero. I have a cloud file with several sheets and I want to import some open invoices and then then want to close them with payments with the help of Business Importer. Uh, and I will be showing you how to use our template file and your custom file. In the first row, it is important to understand that in the first row, you need to have the names of the columns so that the mapping step uh, works properly and the app understands what data to put to which zero fields later on. So in here I have uh, invoice and I have customer names and dates uh, and all the information that is needed for the invoice. I have two one-lined and one multi-lined invoices. So uh, in order to group some transaction, to make a transaction a multi-lined one, please state the same number in the doc number column in here. You can have as many rows as you wish, just indicate the same uh, number for all of them that you want to group into one invoice in my case. So I just want to uh, import this file. So I click share and make sure the access is public. So I file this public, I copy the link. Then I select the object, the invoice that I want to import into zero and click next. In here I have two options, either browse or file from my computer or insert the link to a cloud file. This is what I'm going to do. I'm inserting the link and click next. Now I need to sign up to the needed Google account to authorize the app and I need to select the sheet now. This is step three, select the sheet. So I select invoice. I know that my information is stored there. Right, we've come to the mapping step. As I'm using our template file where the names of the columns are exactly the same as the names of the fields on the zero side, you can see them right in here. Invoice number, custom name, line description, like line account code. So everything is already pre-mapped in here. You can see that there is perfect correlation between the columns. Here are provider labels or zero field names and here are my labels from my file. And now I click start import to quickly import my data into my zero company. Now the import log has opened and you can see that in just a couple of moments the import was finished. Um, you can see that the invoices, three invoices were created, which is great. This was my goal. Um, so I just want to go to my zero and check uh, how they look there. So here I can see the imported invoices. I can check them by number in here. 
I see that the customers are correct and I can just open these three invoices to check how data was imported, how correctly it was imported and compare it to my file. So I'm opening the first invoice and here it is. Everything quantity, unit price, everything that I stated in my file is in here. Right now you can see that the invoices are open and so you might want to close them automatically with data that is also in your file in the cloud or on your PC. And it is possible to do with our app to link a payment to the invoice and import the payment in bulk. So I go back to my sheet in here on the Google Drive and I search for the payment sheet that I have. And I have the payments data for all of these three invoices in here. I have the account and the uh, payment uh, transaction type stated as invoice. It means that I want to link um, this payment to the invoices. I state the numbers, the reference if needed, then dates, amount, and whatever you want. You can uh, mark them as reconciled or unreconciled. And I want to just import this data and close the invoices with this payment. So I'll go back on the upload file tab and I click on the payment in here and click next. I select a different object now. I'm inserting the same link to the same document in here and I select the needed sheet and this time it's payment and click next. As I was also using the template file, you can see that all the fields are pre-mapped in here, so I can just click Start Import and it's as simple as this. And just in a few moments, you will see that the payment was created and let's see how it changed the invoices on the zero side. And you can see that it's now paid and the amount due is zero. And this is true for all of the invoices that we previously imported. Right, now I just want to quickly show you how to import a custom file because we understand that you uh, probably have information exported from some other sources and you might not want to use our template file for quick mapping. So this is um, how to do this. So I'm just going to import the same invoice information and in just uh, you know, a different arrangement of the file. So I go back to the upload file page and click invoice again and click next. I insert the link to the file here again and I just want to select a different sheet which is invoice custom. Let me just quickly show you how this sheet looks like in my file. So I just have different column names in here. It's doc number, customer, do, code, product instead of description, account, quantity, written like this and stuff like that. So the names are different. Now I appear on the mapping step again. And here is what happens when you are not using our template file and the names of the columns in your file are different from the names of the fields in zero, which is probably going to happen uh, for most of our users. Uh, you will see the select label near almost all of the fields in here. This means that you need to connect the needed column from your file to the corresponding zero label or zero field. So we just click in here and under customer name, I know that the column is named customer. And you do this for all of the fields in turn. Like for invoice number, I know it's doc number. And as for example, I do not have information about branding theme in my file, I just leave it at select label because this is the information I do not have and don't want to import and I do not need to map it. So you just keep going and do this for all of the fields um, that you see here and want to import. So once you've done this, once you've connected all of the fields in here and left uh, the unneeded information on select label, you just quickly revise it and can click next actually to make sure that everything is correct. Here is the preview step. You just want to, you know, you'll, you will see this information uh, from your file and just check whether it's correct and if it's not you can 
edit it right in here. For me, it looks correct, so I click Start Import. You can, of course, avoid this step if you wish. So you can see the import map and execution, which is an import log, and you can see that the invoices were created again. I just stated different uh, numbers, doc numbers for these invoices so that they um, import correctly. And we can check them in our zero as well in here. Under invoices tab, we just refresh it and see that they were also imported in here. These are the doc numbers they had just imported. You can click and revise them as well if needed. Now I'm just going to tell you how to create schedules out of your successful imports of cloud files. So let's say your cloud file is updated regularly on Monday mornings and you just want to automatically import it to your Xero company, let's say every Monday evening. So once you have the successful import of this file, you can create a schedule out of it. You can see this button in the import login here. So you click create schedule, you name it. Let's say schedule Monday evening. It's up to you how to name it. So the start time at let's say 8.40 p.m. sounds about right. And you select the time zone, any time zone you prefer, and you select day of the week. Click create. This means that this import will automatically run into your zero company every Monday evening and you do not need to log into the app. Business Importer will do this automatically. You can see all of your created schedules under the Schedules tab right on the left in here. You can start them manually if you need. Just click Start Now, or they will start automatically at the time that you set. You can create schedules out of all of the successful imports of cloud files that you have. So I can click go to imports history in here where you can see the list of all of your imports. Click on any import log, open it and create a schedule out of this very file. So I name it just differently, name one, and I select the time and I want it to be imported on Wednesday and click create. And as you can see, another schedule was added to the schedules list. Uh, all of the imports, if they are successful, the imports of your schedules, they will be stored under the imports history in here as well. You will be able to see them. If your cloud file is empty for some reason or doesn't have the required information, because there is some required information that Xero uh, really, really needs you and urges you to uh, state because it won't be able to create an invoice like without customer name or product. Etc. So if you don't have the needed information in your file, you will not see this import. The import will not run in the app and you will receive an email saying that you did not have required information in your file. So you can correct your file and run the import just as I told you. Click start now. Just quickly do this. One click and the data is going to be imported into your Xero company. This works for MyOB as well. And I just want to quickly show you the settings that we have for importing into, in my case, Zero Company. You can change the date format, um, uh, which uh, is either day, month, year, or month, day, year. Uh, and document numbers, you can apply reference numbers from import file to your transactions, or you want to use doc numbers from your Zero. And uh, you can generate doc number automatically in here and set up the app to do so. You can also change your password in here in the general profile settings and many more. Please always remember that we have live chat available in our app. It's right in here. Have questions, we're online tab in the bottom right corner. Just say hi to us and our support specialist will be glad to help you with any issue. I hope you enjoyed this short demo and if you have any questions, just contact us at any time. We'll be glad to answer all of them. Thank you and have a great journey with Business Importer.